Hi everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today I will show you how to make very interesting intro titles. In today's video I will show you very interesting way how to use landscape with atom array. Additionally we will check a text with Voronoi fracture and we will animate it. And finally I will show you how to make night sky in redshift, how to create this material, how to aid clouds and if you are ready so let's start. We are in Cinema 4D and I will start from Mo text. I will create a Mo text. I will put a tutorial. We'll make it very wide and array like a mi middle. Very good. Put to the forward somewhere somewhere 500 frames. Maybe like maybe like this. 500 frames. Very good. Uh, after that I will I will apply some cups make maybe five centimeter uh, five uh, steps and five steps and I have to increase uh, size between the letters go to the object and horizontal spacing make maybe 10 just just little bit like this very good very nice okay I have this text uh, what I will do now I will create a primitive landscape. So I will make maybe maybe 200 for maybe 800 for maybe 600 just just like this. Pick up to this level. Text I will also pick up. Just little bit more. Very good. And 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 I will work with landscape now. First of all I will disable multifractal. 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 Yeah, maybe like this. Disable it. And I have some scape. Change and find what you like more. I don't know. Okay. Maybe, maybe like this. I like it. What I will do now? Uh, first of all take out delete this tag font tag we no need it i like to see some polygons and to reduce these polygons we have to apply very interesting tool polygon reduction apply like a child for landscape as you can see coming polygon reduction so i go to lines and now i can see it for polygon reductions it's not too much settings but i will use only reduction strange only 99 percent only like this. I have just little bit polygons and like low poly mount. Very good. Uh, now I will make a copy of this landscape. Just hold Ctrl on your keyboard and drag and drop somewhere up like this and apply to this child Atom Array. Like this. Very good. And now all my edges on landscape have some Atom Array. For Atom Array I will use 2 and 2. It's up to you. You can use, for example, you create some balls, as you can see. Uh, maybe you like like this. Only balls or use very wide. Uh, you, can, you can create how you like it. But I like just straight lines. For me it's more interesting. What I will do now? I will create one more landscape drag somewhere to the forward maybe somewhere here and increase size also maybe 200 maybe 100 again to the forward just little bit pick up like this and maybe reduce only 5 oh, sorry 5 0 like this okay this is, will be like a floor uh, for this landscape I will do same like for previous one. First of all delete tag. Then apply polygon reduction. In polygon reduction make 99% like this. After that copy 
and for copy object apply atom array. For atom array I will use same settings 2 and 2 centimeters. And what I have finally? I have very interesting situation, yeah? Very good. Uh, now I'll go to redshift settings. First of all, render change to redshift. Uh, output I will use high division 576 up to 1280. I will use 25 frames per second. Uh, then I will go to redshift, disable IPR, take maybe, I don't know, maybe 4 and 4, go to system, bucket render, spiral, and 250. Okay, very nice. Apply redshift, IPR, and what I have? I have like this object. So, in present moment I do not apply some text texture for this to avoid any stack of my computer, any delay with calculation. Okay, maybe I will also go to the options, configuration, view, and I will increase this opacity like this, and finally I will have a area which I finally will see on my uh, viewport render. Very good. Very good. So, going like this, maybe a little bit pick up somewhere here and create camera. Now I can already create camera. For camera, I will use a zero, sorry, one. This will be zero. This will be zero. This will be 150 and little bit back maybe maybe like this okay this is will be final position if i will render and check yeah i like it maybe just little bit pick up camera or put down text yes better down text to the center of the object render again yes i think now it's on the center very good uh now i will show you how to create very interesting redshift material night sky for this, we will go to Sphere and create very, very, we will call it Sky. And we will call this, uh, we will give size for this sphere maybe, maybe 10,000. Take out segments, we no need it. Very, very big sphere. Okay. Uh, as you know, in standard Cinema 4D, we have physical sky. But for Redshift, we have this physical sky in this area but this without any stars clouds or during uh, night time you cannot see absolutely nothing because sun going down and it's working not so good for night night i don't know night compositions so i found some in very interesting way create a sky and apply some material so take material and apply to this sky what i have I go to Redshift IPR and what I have. Now we will work with this material. Okay. Material surface. Disable. Open materials and apply material blender. We need it. Like this. This material we already no need. We will use self illumination material. Apply to material blender like a base color. As you can see, start lights. Yes, not yet because this is not connected. Yes, start light. Uh, for this base color, I will use a color like a very, very dark blue, like a night sky. Maybe like this. Very dark blue. What I will do now, I have to apply some stars. I again use self-illumination material. I will change color, maybe it should just little bit blue, just very, very little. And I apply it like a second layer number one, layer color number one. And for this color, for this material, I need some mask. How to create this mask? Going to texture going to noise and take some color correct okay and now we will work with this noise and color correct to see result to check result i will apply this color correct to my surface 
and now I can see what is going on. Very good. Uh, first of all, in color correct, I will increase contrast up to 1, just to receive only black and only white color without any gray. And going to noise, and inside in the noise I have some options, color, noise and coordinates. Noise I didn't change nothing, cell I will keep like this. I going to coordinates and I will reduce the size, maybe 0 0.1. Yeah, you see I have some dots, some points. Maybe I will use 0 0.01. Very nice, I have very big points. Very big points. But I need to be to receive these points in white color because this is like a mask and everything which will be in white will have this material. Black will be like a alpha. So I go to noise and I make invert. Very good. And what I will do now? Now I go to the settings, bias, color bias, and I start to play with these settings. If I increase, you see my points coming very, very, very small. Maybe I will use 0.9. Yes, I have some small points, already like a stars. Going to coordinates and maybe change some sides. Like this. Looks like very nice. Maybe I will increase more. Maybe 15, 15, 15. Okay, I have some, some small small points if it's too much for you you can increase here just little bit maybe five you have less or you can make like this it's absolutely up to you or you can make it more if you play with this bs you can adjust how many stars you need on your sky maybe like this i will keep maybe like this very good so when it's done i will apply this mask so layer number one, blend color. And what I have? Go back, connect, and I have dark blue sky and light, light blue stars. Light blue from here, dark from here. So now I will apply some clouds. To do this, I just take these materials, hold counter on my keyboard, drag and drop down. Uh, my clouds will be just standard white color without any change and I will apply it to layer 2 color 2 now I will start play with mask I again going to the settings first of all I change my BS up to this area I change noise maybe to turbulence to receive like this what I will do now I go and take out invert. I need only white. And and now we start to play. My clouds should be white. So I take out this. Oh, you see it's coming white. Take out this. It's coming like this. Looks like very nice. Maybe only five. Okay. Very good. Increase. No, maybe 0 0.1 will remain back. And in color correction, I go back with contrast. As you can see, I have some, some clouds. Maybe I will use 0 0.9, maybe 0 0.95, maybe 0 0.5 only. Oh no, it's too much. Okay, 8. 0 0.8. And what I will go do? Going to noise. To BS and start reduce. Reduce, 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 reduce just to little bit C. Maybe maybe only 0 0.6. Just little bit. This is will be mask for my clouds. I apply this mask to color blend number two. And again check what I have. Very good. I have night sky dark blue sky with some clouds with some stars very nice uh, additionally i like to add some more skies and i like to make a moving for the skies what i will do i take the sky make a copy and call it cloud clouds 
Okay, copy this material, apply here. And for this, I will decrease maybe for 900 only, just little bit, it will be inside. So what I will do now for this material? First of all, I will again open my IPR, play, and I will disable my sky for a moment. Now I no need it. So for my material, I no need stars, no stars, only sky. And for my material, I no need this dark blue color. Just take out, but I also no need black color. And I will apply just standard material. In this material, I take out color, take out reflection and make refraction up to one, full refraction. And for I or R, I will make only one, just, just without nothing. Uh, yeah, for base color. As you can see, this is zero with some clouds, only with clouds. Uh, now I will play with this uh, mask and I like to make these clouds with more size. So what I have to do, go to noise, go to coordinates and maybe, maybe increase like this. Yeah, I have these big clouds, as you can see, yes. Maybe also I will increase here maybe up to seven i don't know you can play how you like and bs maybe 0 0.5 like this so very good uh apply sky second one and what i have i have clouds on this sky and clouds on this sky but now i can make an animation for these clouds for example on the frame number zero on the frame number zero my clouds will have a zero rotation and on the frame number 200 my clouds turn like this and will have maybe 20 20 degrees apply keyframe and don't forget to make this keyframe like a liner because i like to receive continuously moving so uh and finally as you can see, my cloud will move. Finally, yes, when when will be rendering, yes, as you understood what you mean. And now uh, I create material for everything, for other object. Now, uh, first of all, I will play with my more text. I going to more text and apply for more text Voronoi fracture. Like this. I have some many, many, many points. But if you go to the settings of your fracture and make optimize and close holes my text coming to collapse how to fix this problem how to fix this problem take out text right click current state to object you can delete this more text and now i have uh, many many objects inside yes many many different objects cups everything so right click on the parent uh, select children, right click, connect object and delete. Finally, I have only one object, only one text. I now need this selection. And when now I put, apply this text to Voronoi fracture and apply this optimize and hole, I haven't good result. So for Voronoi, I go to source generator and maybe I will increase 200 like this just to receive some results also I have some very interesting options in the object this offset fragments if I start increase okay it's too much you see yes what is happen between fragments coming some space I don't need it too much, I will use maybe only two, maybe only two just for beginning, if I will render what I have. Okay, uh, you can see I have very, very nice sky, yes. Of course, you can apply it in Photoshop or in After Effects later, but I like to make almost everything in Cinema 4D. Okay, um, now we will make animation for this fracture. As you know, fracture is part of the MoGraph inside here. It's mean for the Voronoi fracture working all effectors. We will apply plane. 
my text jumping up why because in the plane in the parameters position applied 100 centimeters up disable it i no need it now uh, how it's working how working this plane better i think i will show you i will put somewhere here and i go to plane i go to fallout and i will make a sphere so coming some sphere i will increase little bit the sphere maybe 200 200 200 just to show you how it's working okay for parameters i will apply scale scale uniform minus one minus one it will be inside in the sphere i have nothing when i start move the sphere as you can see i have some animation what is inside in the sphere coming to zero and what is outside will have some text so uh i don't like it i like to receive text inside in the sphere i going to fall out and i will push this invert enable and now what is inside in the sphere have text what is outside have a text uh, how to animate it it's very very simple on the frame number five zero I will use my sphere to 0, 0, 0 and keyframe. Then on the frame number 150, I will increase. Maybe like this, maybe like this, and maybe like, maybe like this. Maybe a little bit. no some mistake 300 okay yeah this 300 very good like this okay and what is going on you see from frame number 50 my text starts slowly collecting from small piece of fracture how to make additional animation First of all, we're going back to parameters. I like apply rotation. I don't know. I will make a rotation for 360 degrees. And what is going on? Look, my text before coming start to rotate. And finally, I have text. Also, I like to change position. If I change this position, my text coming or from right side or from left side will be like this. You see, I don't like it. If I change this position, my text coming from top. Maybe you like it, maybe you will use it. Also interesting animation. If I change this position, maybe like this, my text coming from, from somewhere from the mount. Yeah, maybe a little bit decrease. Here will be 1, 2, 5, 0 only. Okay. Uh, but I going back to parameters I like to make minus 1000 what I have my text coming somewhere from the camera if I go to the camera yeah no, not exactly from the camera okay I will check where is I have this text if I go to the top my text coming from somewhere from this area yes so i think i can increase i go to the plane and i can increase maybe up to 600 like this in text coming exactly from the camera position looks like here you see we'll check again and looks like looks like very nice text collected uh, we will do some small animation for camera so on the frame number three zero I will make a keyframe frame here and here last frame I will move camera a little bit back like this And on the first frame, I will go to the forward, 
maybe somewhere here and maybe I will change rotation maybe like this maybe 35 maybe 40 okay more very good and what I have camera animation then slowly coming text and then continuous moving back looks like very very interesting uh, now we start apply some material so I create a redshift material go to settings and I will use a blue glass I no need diffuse color I need only refraction color refraction color will be blue just standard blue and for IOR I will use 165 just to give additional glossiness and maybe additionally I will use a roughness 0.1 just give small specular very good uh, apply this to Voronoi fracture to atom array to landscape other atom array and other landscape render and check what I have I have like this picture and I cannot see nothing because I haven't any lights I have only standard standard redshift default light so I no need it I will apply dome light on the dome light uh, general I will apply some diva studio HDR map go in here and check what I have and I haven't nothing you know why because my dome light is outside from sky and clouds sphere so I go to dome light I go to project and I put inside clouds and I put inside the sky exclude it's mean my dome light uh, not affect to this clouds and sky sphere so render again and check what I have very nice now I have illumination of my composition and I have I can see also my sky and looks like very nice but as you can see when my object when my parts is coming I haven't any motion blur to enable it I need go to redshift settings basic motion blur and make enable like this render again and check what I have yeah you see now I have some motion motion blur it looks looks like very very nice uh, here is coming more but it's not so good quality because I use only four samples only like this we again check my composition okay I, I like to check my first frame render first frame yeah you see glass I have some good refraction I have some sky very interesting and I go to last game frame check again uh, you know maybe I will add some segments to my text to do it I need go to Voronoi fracture source generation and maybe 500 render again and check uh, yeah I think I will keep like this I more like like this more segments it's like from from the crystal looks like very nice uh, what I will do now and somewhere here I will check how coming some blur for my oh yeah you see very good very good blurring here here when when coming more samples for example if I will increase up to 64 and 64 and render again what I have I think now I have very good pictures and I think on the my computer oh you see yeah very nice I think it's taken approximately maybe maybe 20 25 seconds uh, now we will see just for your information I have two video adapters in my laptop GeForce 980 mobile version I don't use a slide okay very nice 
uh, going to output all frames going to save png file and some folder very good going to redshift settings 64 and when everything done you just push a render i didn't push it because i already rendered it and on my computer this 200 frames with this quality taking a little bit more than one hour approximately one hour and 15 minutes i don't know how many minutes is taken on your computer you can try put some comments to me and it will be interesting okay we are going to after effect uh, inside I already have two sounds Spin Beep 01 and Atmospheric Mystical 05 uh, I download it from Video Copilot so Double click on this area Take first picture, import and automatically coming all my 200 frames Create composition What I have? I have very interesting animation you see i use little bit other mount before now i have like this mount but all time coming different yes so apply music like this what i have okay somewhere where from f six seconds I push game frame for sound level, audio level, go to last frame and make it zero. Uh, minus 48, yes. It means on the end my sounds slowly going to silent. Like this. Very nice. After that I will apply spin beep. Going here and my sound coming from somewhere in this area. I will go and check where is com start coming my letters. Somewhere from this area. Drag and put here. Okay, check what I have. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. Maybe you will apply other sounds, it's absolutely up to you, but this is just tutorial. Uh, I will adjust, uh, add some new adjustment layer, and I will apply Trap Scott Star Glow. Maybe, maybe you can see from this area, yes, very good. Okay, on the settings of Star Glow, I will use a blue, because I have blue composition and blue... Um, blue star glow coming is looks like good if you have other color red or green or white you can che check these presets inside too much any gloves mm, it's up to you and boost light i will make a five and as you can see when my letters is coming i have some crystals i have here some crystal and very nice, very nice. I have a uh, specular on this area and in the end you can add also some solid on the game number one. Push on your keyboard T, it's coming to opacity, first game frame, few game frames more, zero, then somewhere here, game frame and last one. 100. What I have? I have like this. Okay, so if you like this tutorial, please subscribe, put like, share to your friends. You can send any comments to me. Maybe you have some other possibility to make this animation. It will be interesting. If you like how I create a redshift sky, also put like and thank you for watching see you next time goodbye friends